Hi guys, I'm Rahul from Team Cloudy ML, and today we are going to learn uh, conditional statements. Uh, so let's get started. So, why we use conditional statements in Python? There are like scenarios where we would like to check uh, if a certain condition is uh, met or not. And based on that certain condition, I would like to decide what I need to do. So just, le just let's understand this with an example. Let's say I have a number A, 10, and I have another number B equal to 20. And I would like to check whether A is uh, smaller than or greater than B. So normally what I will do, like I, I can simply just say A is greater than B or not. I can, I can simply print this. This is one way we do without using any conditional statements. And you can see that it says false means A is not greater than B. We understood this, but this is... This is not a nice way to get the output to based on condition. This is not the nice way. So what I can do is instead of just this, I say I use if else condition. I say if A is greater than B. If A is greater than B and then I put a colon here and then I press enter and you can see that I have got this space I have got this space which is a space of a tab in collab and then I say here print a is greater than b it will print this if my if condition is met and then I say else else should be in line of if make sure if if and else is in one line and then I say print B is greater than A. I just I have just written this string. So if this condition is true, it will run this block of code. This print is under if. Now if this condition is not met, if this is not true, it will skip this block of print it will print the else block. It will print this. So now let's run this and we see that B is greater than A. Because it checked the condition, this is not true. So it just print this block of code. So you can see that now my output is in a clean, uh, clean format. Now this is the benefit of if else condition. Now, if I have more than these two conditions, I can add multiple uh, conditions. For that, I can use elif in between if else. Now, how we can do that? Let me just add another line of code. And let me just copy this. Now, let me show you how we can use multiple conditions here you can use multiple if condition also but if you want to make a ladder of if else then you can do it in between also for example i say elif elif a greater than zero and a less than 15 print a is somewhere 0 and 15 you can see that i am i have just written another condition here and if this condition is true it will print this if uh, this uh, if this condition is true it will print this line also and let's just add another condition lf a equal equal to 10 print a is equal to 10 
I can see that I have added two elif condition here. And based on uh, just this condition, you can say that, yeah, this condition is true, this condition is true. It is going to print, obviously, more than one print statement. Okay, now, what it did is, it first checked this condition. And when this condition is met, it just printed this. It didn't even check the next condition. Um, both conditions so a is somewhere 0 and 15 now you can do you can do if condition you can use multiple if condition also for example I can just remove this I can say if only and I can put else condition in this if a equal equal to 10 print a is equal to 10 else print b is greater than a so now I can do this in this way also, but remember this is an individual block. This if is also an individual block block and this is one individual block if else. This is, I have three different blocks. Now I should keep this um, this condition here by the way but it's okay the main point is to understand that how you can use multiple if conditions you can use if else conditions you can use if l if else condition which we saw earlier so now let's run this so you can see that uh, this condition is not met so it didn't print this 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 if block is kind of useless now here it this condition is met so it printed this a somewhere 0 and 15. Now, here we know that a is equal equal to 10. It, this condition is met, so it printed this. So this is how if elif else condition works. Now let's see one more example. Now let's say I say h is equal to, uh, what I can do is I can take user input here. So to take user input, you, you use inputs like this and I say enter your age here so since I am taking age as input I, sh I should use int outside I will convert I will convert the in input into int otherwise it will be in a string format and it can throw error I will take user input here using input statement and I will check using if condition if h is less than 18 since uh, if your age is less than 18 you cannot vote so i will say print you cannot vote wait more so now i will use elif condition because there are multiple conditions can be possible if h is greater equal than 18 and h is less than 100 i'm just making this my own condition print you can vote let us make it uh, 75 Now I say else, no, one more elif condition. Elif h is less than or equal to zero, print. Um, since uh, age less than or equal to zero, if someone puts it, it's uh, invalid h else print let's just make it more funny you are either dead or too old okay so you can see that i created this um, art um, arbitrary conditions here and uh, we have this user input here so let's just check 
make sure about indentation here you do not uh, indent uh, you do not do mistake of indentation make sure if elif else condition is in the same line print is in the same line okay let's just check 20 so it says you can vote okay let's just check other cases let's just check 18 and i can say it's still i can vote let's just check some uh, more than uh, 100 age uh, you are either dead or too old okay this is condition is also working now let's just, just check zero what happens you cannot vote wait more mm, okay so you can see that uh, uh, my all cases are working really fine so this is how you can take a uh, user input for the age and use multiple if elif else conditions to print something uh, based on your condition now there are some um, few small things like uh, if your if else condition is really small you can use one line also for example a equal to 10 and i would like to check print uh, print a greater than b let me just define b also b equal to 20 let's just say and let's print a is greater than b if a greater than b else print b greater a so you can see that uh, i have uh, written if else condition in just one line so this is also a way this is also a way to b is greater than a you can see to write your if else condition if your if else condition is very small and there's not a huge line of print this is a shortcut way to write if else condition so this was all about conditional statements in python the most important thing to note here is about indentation usually as a beginner we all do a lot of indentation mistakes so just remember that if i uh, click tab here it reaches up to this point this is called indentation so make sure you don't do such mistakes sometimes we do like do it like we we write if we write else condition like this so this is also a mistake so make sure you do not do such mistake and if you do try to understand the error google it so that you can solve it for example just to show you uh, about error like i i didn't indent here and you can see that i see this red lines here expected indented block it is giving you hint that uh, it expects an indent here but if you don't do it if you still run you will see indentation error it is telling you that print a is greater than b this line has problem there should be some indent here so just uh, remember these things try to understand how to fix this and you will be doing great so guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up, comment and uh, tell us how you would like to see more videos on this uh, funny topic. You can just suggest us something. Thank you guys.